Self Fracture It is a demolition expert for 3D geometry. Breaking them into small pieces is an easy peasy job for this add-on. In this tutorial, we will be exploring the wonders of Self Fracture in Blender. So let's get started. So to enable the add-on, you're just going to References and search Self Fracture. I will just tick this box so that it becomes enabled and in this tutorial I'm just going to use the Ecosphere so I'm just add this to Ecosphere and subdivide this 5 times and set the smoothness to 1 so that it becomes perfect sphere and now it's about time to add a cell fracture and the real question is how do we add cell fracture so to add a cell fracture we're just going to select the sphere go to object Quick effects and select cell fracture. Now, once you get this pop up, you're just going to select own vertices and click OK. And now you can see our mesh is breaking up into tiny little pieces. Now, once it breaks into tiny little pieces, you get this. And on top of our broken pieces, there's actual spear. And we're just going to scale this down so that it looks like a core. And this is the crucial part. Of this tutorial, this icosphere is going to make the uh, particles explode. <laughs> and now we will just add a rigid body to select one of the pieces which is easily accessible and go to physics properties and click on rigid body. And when you play, our base just falls down. And now to add the rigid body to all of the particles, we're just going to press A and highlight the piece we just added rigid body. And go to object and under rigid body we're just going to select copy from active now when you press play it's just going to explode and you can control the size of the explosion if you want the explosion to be strong and big you can just increase the so, size of the ecosphere and it just becomes more you know strong if you want the explosion to be subtle, you're just going to scale down this uh, core. And as you can see, not a lot of happening. And to now, to get that out of the world space kind of vibe, just going to uh, scene properties and then check gravity. And now when you play, it just floats around in the empty space. Who needs that Newton's laws of physics, huh? I'm pretty sure Newton is not pissed right now. And that's it. This is a very cool way to create this. And you can just take this animation to the next level by creating a scene around it. So I'm just going to add a cube and delete the front face and I'm just going to scale this in X and Y axis so that you get the you know container kind of thing. Now when I press play, it just the particles just pass through the container. And to avoid that, I'm just going to add rigid body to this as well, to the cube as well. But set the type to passive and set the shape to mesh. And this is very very important that you do that. Now when you press play, it just you know bounces off the cube. And it just looks really cool. And for the texturing, we'll just go to render mode and set the render engine as EVS cycles. It really depends on you and your system. And I'm just going to use a default SGR rifle now. So I'm just gonna make the spear look like go look like gold. So select one of these pieces and go to material properties, click on new and Select the desirable color. I'm just going to give it a gold. And since gold is a metal, so I'm just going to increase the metallic all the way up. And roughness too, like this. So to copy this material, I'm just going to select the cube and press Ctrl I so that. All the particles of the sphere is selected, not the cubes. And I'm just going to hold on shift and highlight the textured uh, part. 
Now instead of that, you just press Ctrl L on your keyboard and ring materials. And that's it. Hope you like the tutorial, guys.